Listen, last night I went on um, Chris Hayes' program. Charlie Pierce was on. Hayes and I and, and, and Charlie Pierce. And I was expressing my perspective on whether or not Donald Trump will play to all of America. And this is what I said. Joining me now, Sam Cedar, host of The Majority Report and an MSNBC contributor, and Charlie Pierce, writer at large for Esquire magazine. Uh, so this is the question. I, I, I had a, 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 a birthday party this weekend, <laughs> a bunch of friends uh, I was talking to, uh, folks who are not news junkies, but are pretty politically informed. Pause it. And this is what everyone wants. Just occurs to me I was not invited. <laughs> I don't know if First it was thing I thought of. What yeah, the hell? I don't know. I got to talk to him about that. Maybe it wasn't his birthday party. If it was his birthday party, I'm a little bit offended. All right, but go ahead. So no, what, what, what do I want to see here? If I'm not a Republican, if I am on the other part of the political spectrum, Sam, what's, what's, what's your feeling? You know, uh, I'm glad that uh, what I want isn't, uh, doesn't necessarily always come true. Because, I, I, listen, I'm, 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 I'm terrified at the idea that Donald Trump uh, could be the president of the United States. And, of course, if he becomes the nominee of the Republican Party, he's one step closer. Uh, but I got to think that at the end of the day, regardless of who the Democratic nominee is, that the American public is just going to, um, you know, broadly speaking, reject him. I mean, I think he's, he's doing well with Republicans, but I don't think he's doing well necessarily necessarily with normal people. And I think that uh, to a large extent, um, it's going to hurt down ticket a lot more than any other uh, Republican candidate. Now, Hayes was in Texas at the time. And when we cut back, when I could see him on screen, because they roll tape, uh, it did look to me like he almost was cracking up. And as I said that line, I was like, well, you know, this this is a little bit aggressive for me to say on the Majority Report. Uh, I mean, on uh, on on uh, MSNBC, uh, but I, I do think it's the case. Now, there was a lot of whiny, frankly weak, and I'm sad to say that because I love people on Twitter. <laughs> and I really, it does. It hurts me to say that because uh, I love people on Twitter, and I love people who have low follow follower accounts on Twitter. <laughs> And those people love me. Low follower account Twitter handlers, they love me. We and love, I love low them. followers. They're great. They're Don't great. we love low followers? No, we, I love them. But I have to say, it's, it's sad for me to say this, they were sad and pathetic. <laughs> they were sad and pathetic in the way they responded to me. They were, first off, I will tell you that my headset, I could, my hearing on the, on the show, I could barely hear anything. And that's why I, I, had a, I got confused when I said, but, I, it's, but it's true. That's the other thing, is it's true. And I think it's just weak and sad when low followers uh, on Twitter uh, complain about me being PC, because I'm not PC. I'm against PC-ness. 